Hey everybody, this is Robin and Jason West. Hey Jason. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Good. I'm the awkward extra in a movie. Ooh, There's a camera. <laughs> I know. It's like looking at you. <laughs> um, so we're over here at the For Art Space and um, behind Jason is some of his drawings. Beautiful, beautiful. So Jason, um, we're gonna start out, just a simple question, you know, what inspires your drawings? Um, a lot of things. Uh, one of the main things is death and remembering that it exists and that it can, it's not just an end, it's not a hopeless type of thing, it is, it's hope in all honesty. Um, memento mori, I guess is the, the Latin phrase, remember death. It's a, a, a stoic you know, philosophy as well. And I try to incorporate a lot of that into my illustrations. Um, also pop culture. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, it's, I've had a lot of people pass away in my life, as many people have. And, you know, I just, it's, it kind of, it's a way in my drawings, it's a way of me dealing with that and remembering like at any moment. I could be gone, you could be gone, you know, all that kind of stuff. And just finding the hope that is in life and that every day you wake up and go, all right, let's have some fun, <laughs> you know, type of deal. Instead of like, you know, like everything's desperation. It's like, yeah, there's desperation. That's what's great about everything. Um, there's desperation, there's happiness, there's all that kind of stuff. And that's really what I try to incorporate in every single one of my illustrations. You know, just that, just know that there's fun, but also like the creepiness of life, you know, and how right. you could yeah. die. Well, you know, I've, I've watched several of your live drawings sessions that you were doing on Facebook. Are you still doing those? Uh, I do, I try to do one once or twice a month on twitch.com now or Twitch TV, whatever it's called. Um, mainly, I don't want to get into too many details, but mainly Facebook doesn't really allow a lot of stuff to be shown, so. Well, that's unfortunate. It is, it is. <laughs> because I didn't yeah. realize. It, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard. It's like, you know, the do's and the don'ts and, you know, um, well, I mean, I guess people can, do you have to sign up for that? No, no, um, you just go to, uh, I do believe the name is JWest138, and it's on Twitch. Um, and also I have a link in my website, which is jasonmichaelwestart.com. Okay, so. well that'd be good to know, because um, I think um, it's always really interesting to watch, you know, people draw, I love doing that. Yeah. And so, you know, I guess the next question then is for you regarding that because, you know, do you feel like when you're doing like a live drawing, do you feel at all distracted and disconnected from what you're drawing? I mean, how does that work for you? Um, so when I do live drawings, so like, let's say I have like a, a commission that requires a lot of detail or there's a piece of art that require that I'm doing that's going to be like really detailed and have a lot of thought process and stuff like that. I don't do those during live drawings. I'll draw something that's simple, easy, quick, um, say like, like I have a character, Frank the Skeleton, I'll do a live drawing of that, you know, or, you know, flowers or, or something. So it's less likely that I'll screw something up or, you know, that I can concentrate, you know, it's more likely I can concentrate on Frank or flowers or a simple skeleton while talking to, you know, the people that are like sending me messages during, during it all. So the answer to your question is like, if I was doing, you know, like a very detailed, large drawing, something, you know, like the stuff behind me, I would get distracted and you know, it wouldn't be, in my opinion, as good. But if, you know, I'm drawing like simple, like, you know, Frank the Skeleton or even like this guy right here, 
you know, it's, it's, it's simple. It's got, you know, just a couple shapes, some flowers, stuff like that. I can ink that during like the hour long drawing and, you know, still talk to people, direct them to whatever they, you know, ask questions about. Now you've started doing the t-shirts and hoodies, and I know the link is on your website too. Mm -hmm. And guys, um, Jason's links will be in the descriptions below, so you'll be able to go to his website and everything. Um, so what inspired you with doing the, the garments? Uh, several things. Um, so one of the things I try to incorporate in like what I do on a regular basis with my art is I grew up like punk rock and the music scene and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I, I remember going to the merch table and just being like, oh, I'll go get that, you know, you know, subhuman shirt or, you know, whatever. And, you know, just going, you know what, as an artist, you know, like say like, like this, this design in particular sells the original. Prints are great, but not everyone has wall space. You know, but everyone needs shirts. Everyone needs, you know, like a hoodie during, you know, spring and fall, all that kind of stuff. So it's just kind of like a way of getting my art out there for people, you know, to basically free advertising too. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, you know, and, and just kind of also like running with that punk rock uh, ethos of just do it yourself, you know, because like a lot of times I see, you know, art that I want on shirts and I, don't see it with shirts, so like, make the art that I want, put it on a shirt. Hey, cool! I got a new hoodie. You know, yeah. other people. We need can caps have. too. We uh, yeah, and I'll <laughs> actually, uh, that's something that I am working on a design for uh, oh, currently. Nice. So that's 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 on the DL. But all of you now know. So oh. cap, caps will be Look, happening. We got exclusive people. We yeah. have just got yeah. the exclusive. Yeah, right here. it'll it'll be they'll be done by uh, Christmas shopping season. So nice, nice. There you go. <laughs> awesome. That's good to hear. Yeah. So you know we we've known each other for a long time now, and it's just. Who are you? Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> um, so you know, I think one of the things we've always talked about is you know like what are our goals. What are we striving for? What are the things that um, we could do better? So, you know, what do you have to say about that? I mean, what what are you planning? You know, like what's going on? Um, so to, to quote Pinky in the brain, I'm planning on taking over the world. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I hope to make it better. <laughs> we'll see. No. <laughs> no um... Bring on the Kool-Aid. <laughs> No, the, the ultimate plan is basically what I'm doing, but to do it in a larger scale. Um, I've been designing album covers and doing a lot of stuff for bands and record labels lately, um, and also like uh, breweries, and then my own stuff. So the plan is to get to a point where I'm hired by a record label as their ex one of their exclusive artists, which just happened. So that's kind of cool, yeah. you know? And then also have my art like on other albums and record labels and, you know, maybe win a Grammy for best album cover, which doesn't matter to me because, you know, whatever, but that'd be kind of interesting. It'd be cool. Yeah. Um, you know, and then just having like, Again, going back to the, the punk rock ethos and going to the punk rock shows, you know, going to a you know, show of a band that I designed something for and seeing my t-shirt on a merch table and seeing like, you know, like, like the high school kids and the 20 somethings, they're like obsessed with this band, you know, <laughs> wearing my art, you know, that I designed for the band, you know, yeah. so that's basically the plan, um, you know, and, and that's what I got so far. <laughs> now, um, with the shift of COVID and the pandemic, everything has been going on. I've noticed um, you've been doing a lot of outdoor things. Mm. Is that something that has really been working for you? And it's going to be like some normal yeah, this things is, you're going to work into your life now? Yeah, that's, that's just pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Um, 
probably not going to be doing too many gallery shows anymore, maybe here and there, but the vendor shows again, you know, having the products, yeah. but also selling the original art and prints and stuff like that. Um, it seems to work out really well. Uh, I've gotten a lot more, uh, I guess, fans or followers. I don't, I don't Ooh, know. you got fans. I got fans. <gasps> You're gonna yeah. like the Beatles. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> all in one. <laughs> uh, all in one. Uh, only fans, folks. Anyway. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I've, I've. It's a good way of getting, you know, for like artists that are just starting out. In my opinion, I think it's a good way for them to like get their their voice out. You know, especially if they're doing you know stuff like I'm doing. You know, and want to get into that sort of stuff like designing beer cans like through breweries and stuff like that that hold these events like I've gotten gigs you know and then you know same thing with like some bands I've met bands you know at these gigs you know like a band member that goes hey I like your stuff I'm in this band here's you know well, here's my card and they yeah. contact me mm-hmm. you know so I mean it's a good way for for artists to get their work out you know yeah even to people that are just like frequent it a, a vendor event that because they wanted like homemade soap right, <laughs> you know right. and then i stand out like a <laughs> sore thumb like hey i got satan <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you know that's hilarious <laughs> well jason you know it's always a pleasure um hanging out with you man it's uh I'm glad that you came out even in the rain. No, it's not raining that bad. uh, Interview and bring some of your work down. So, guys, um, don't forget to um, check out Jason's work on his website. All the links that you can possibly need is on there, and I'll put all the description, all the information in the description. And thank you so much. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. That really helps our channel out a lot. And if you have time after subscribing and you're not too tired, maybe if you like the video, you can hit that like button. Like and subscribe. And if you haven't fallen asleep by that (laughs) point, maybe you can also share with all your artist peeps. How about that? There you go. (laughs) Um, When's this skin? It's getting released in like what, October? Yes. So um, we're, we're almost a month in advance. Okay. All right, guys. So thanks so much. Bye, Jason. Thank you. Behave <laughs> yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs>